As I want to do a really interesting demonstration here. First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. As you guys know, we no longer design screen paint. Uh, two reasons why. Because basically one of the chemicals that we actually designed, which was screen paint, is actually uh, in the process. Actually, it's already in the process of being purchased. Um, but can't tell you too much about that because I'm under NDA. But also, too, on top of that, um, and for those of you that are curious, would be ever used as a screen paint as it was once before? No, 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 no. It's being converted into something different, which I can't say anything about. All right, now, um, also, too, we also feel with the new technology we have developed um, that we feel that screen paint is a bit in the past. And it's something that we are no longer uh, supporting because we feel that the new technology we have now is far more surpassed uh, screen paint. We kind of look at screen paint as an analog TV uh, compared to our technology. Now, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you exactly. No extreme lighting. Um, we have the projector sitting probably about, um, i say, 8 feet up on the screen just to show you no it doesn't make a difference if you're using a full 1080p projector if you got it back 19 feet if you got it back uh, uh, 8 feet if you have it with lights if you have it without lights the te technology that we have is far more advanced than screen paint all right so my projector I'm using right here is my ViewSonic this is my DOP 3000 lumens full 1080p we're using HDMI we're going to go over here to my settings and show you that my settings are in 1080p just to show you that no matter what you use that the screen paint is just an obsolete product and that's just what I feel alright so I'm going to come over here really quick I'm going to remove the 47AG in mind the 47AG the technology that's in that is actually embedded and our new blackout cloths and projection screens so Put that back there so you can see this up close and you're thinking that looks absolutely fantastic right all right that's what you're thinking right now I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna grab our 47 AG I'm gonna put this right in the center I'm gonna step back behind my projector and show you the art technology versus screen paint This is why we feel that screen paint is dull, it's, it's a little dirty, and it just doesn't give you a realistic picture. I don't understand what is the point of going out and spending the money for a very good projector if you're only going to get 20 to 30% of your projector's performance. Now, as you can see, we're using a full 1080p projector. We're very close to the screen, and still, our, you can see the difference that either close or far away um, the new technology is far better than screen paint. Now mind you, even if you have this projector at 1080p and you have a projector at 4K, if you are hitting a, a, um, a, a, a screen that's painted, you're not getting the best performance from your projector. And as you can see, my projector is getting the best performance using against the 47AG. As I said, this technology is embedded in our blackout cloths and our new platinum 4K screens over there. And as you can see the picture just looks so much more realistic look at the angle gain so with our technology you're getting a brighter more cleaner picture You see how the greens on this side look dirty. On here, this is the way it's supposed to look. And the thing about it is, when you look at your painted screen, I, I, here's the thing, I realized this myself 
when I did demonstrations against the uh, Platinum 4K versus our Crystal Witch technology screen. If you're curious to see what those demonstrations look like, check out the video at the bottom of the comment section. But I realized that, and that's when I realized that our technology just needed to change. We had something that was far more advanced, and it was time to leave screen paints alone. Grabbing me a sample sheet really quick. Now, let me show you something really quick for you to see. We are going to go to, a little farther up, we're going to go to, pause please. My laptop has such issues, like one time wants to pause and does want to pause. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Really appreciate that. We had a commercial. Com oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at the commercial. Now I want to show you something. I want to pause it right about here. I'm going to grab the um, Seymour AV 1.3. I'm going to place that right here. Hopefully that stays up there. Right there on the screen. Come back and show you this. This is literally how bright and how beautiful these screens are. This is a Seymour AV 1.3. All right. Okay. Pause it right there. Now. Come over here. Let's remove the Seymour AV 1.3. If I can get it off my sample, it doesn't want to go. These things just fall off all the time, but when I want to remove it, it doesn't want to move. And this is the same technology, not the same technology, but I mean, other projection screens, these are more advanced. This is more advanced technology. I'm um, just showing you exactly why. Now it falls off, doesn't say this time. It falls off. Couldn't get it to get up there the last time. Okay, so go back and look at the same scenery versus the screen paint. All right, that camera to focus a little better. I'll show you exactly what you got. And as you can see, where now you can understand that the screen is dirty. It is, it's an outdated um, um, uh, uh, screen paint. It's just very dirty. Let me remove this really quick. But today, this is not about the Seymour AV. This is about our technology versus the outdated screen paint. But I just want to show you that even with a superior screen like the Seymour AV uh, 1.3, you can see that our technology is brighter and better. Now, mind you, this is, pause right here. This is sand. This is, uh, I guess it's sand or dirt or weed or whatever it is. But as you can see, this is the natural color of it. That right here and this right here is not the natural color. Now mine, I'll put my foot in front of there real quick so you can see that that is a light gray, a light um, gray screen and this is a dark screen right here on the side. And this is the Future Tech uh, 47AG. And you can see that you are really getting a dirty doll picture no matter what and you're really only getting 20 to 30 percent of your picture that's what you're getting so it's kind of like uh, screen paint is more like an analog TV with the rabbit ears in the back of it and if you look at the uh, future tech 4k I could consider this to be a 4k TV that's the way I would go with it Look how much wider, oh that is a beautiful image right there, look at that. Look how much brighter and beautiful the sky, sky blue, this is a sky blue sky. Pure white clouds, look at the, the, uh, the lake, look at the scenery around it. Now mind, if you're using a 1080p projector, 4K projector, 
This is what you're getting when you get when you use screen paint. This is the reason why, among other things, we changed our technology. Because we saw something that was different. We saw something that was unique in the technology that we have designed. And this is why I can sit here and say, hey, look, this product, this screen paint, is, is, is just not good. Mind you, you got screens out there that are screen paint out there that we proved that we pushed our projector back at least 19 feet. We've done 19 feet back, and we've showed you the difference between screen paint and a and our technology. We showed you that the only way screen paint can react fairly is in a dark environment. Now, you guys are probably saying, well, what about your technology and screen paint? Well, you can check through my archives. As a matter of fact, we were the first ones doing demonstrations in flooded environments with screen paint. So our screen paint was actually a lot more advanced than the screen paint you have here, you have here on the market. Now, if that's the case, imagine the technology we are designing now. If the technology we have now is better than the screen paint that we designed back, um, actually about a couple months ago, Consider the fact that that screen paint was blowing out uh, high-end projection screens. It was 500-watt uh, bar lights taped to the screen, and it looked insanely incredible. Well, just imagine the technology on the screens we have now. And this is just to show you what you are missing from your projector. And you might think that, hey, $50 or $80, not to put anybody down, you know what I mean? You have some paints out there for 20 bucks, you know what I mean? You may think that that's a good deal and I'm getting, the, I'm getting the best performance from my projector. You're not. You're just not getting it. All right, so one of my updates just popped up on the screen real quick. Let's remove that real quick. Let's see if we go a little farther down the line. Find something else really quick. Oh, we got a nice snow scene. Okay, we'll do the snow scene. So those of you that are think that you're getting a pure white image on your screen, you're not getting that. You're getting a dirty image. Just look at that. Look at that right there. Just look at that. Let's find something else. We're just going go, we're just going through this and showing you what you're not getting from your screen. Look how beautiful that looks. Whew. Need I say any more? Look at this. So the question is, how much are you actually getting from your projector? How much of your projector's performance are you really, really getting? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it quits right about there. If I can get my, uh, my whatchamacallit, I'm going to go back a little farther back there. But, you know, we'll call it quits. Just going to get on a nice view here. Call it quits right there. So, how much really you got to ask yourself of your projection screen that you're getting? This is the kind of technology we have in our blackout calls, this is the kind of technology we have in our uh, fixed frame screens. This is the kind of technology that we offer. And we're using a full 1080p projector. Um, YouTube video that's being shot is in full 1080p. The projector is sitting eight feet up on the screen. We have, um, we're just using our everyday lights in the environment. And as you can see, 
from the screen paint point of view that you are getting a dirty picture. You're not getting the best performance from your projector. I could never understand why would someone go out and spend the money for a very good projector just to uh, project it onto a surface that is just going to give them poor quality. And that's what I see. This is why I had this uh, amazing screen here before me because we see things differently on our end. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. You got to check out our blackout cloths and our fixed frame screens, which are absolutely amazing. Get the best and the most from your projector, from your investment. Do not cheat yourself. All right, thank you so much for watching this demonstration.